Hello and welcome to Conquering Mod Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to do something different because I think you guys need a little bit of a catch-up break or whatever for our nose gay so long. So I'm going to put in some different videos and talk about different things here. So I don't get a lot of, buy a lot of new stuff in this sewing room. So today we're going to do a fabric haul. Now I went to a quilt uh, show in Leduc. And it's the first time I ever went to a quilt show where I didn't get time to look at the quilts, but I looked at them online. They were beautiful. So Leduc is just a, a, a city outside of Edmonton where I live. Anyways, our guild and the Black Gold Guild, the Edmonton Modern Quilt Guild and the Black Gold Guild, joined forces to put on a beautiful quilt show in Leduc. Well, what happened was, because I was working in the Friendship Center and demonstrating how to do hand sewing and, you know, talking about Kawandis and, you know, there was a lady had made some English paper piece and we were talking about all those kinds of things and then doing a bed turning with my sunflower quilt. They gave me time to shop, so I ran <laughs> through the vendors at this quilt show and I only was able to go get a few cards from some of the vendors. They are not the inclusive list by far, but all of the vendors, if they have a website or a... a you know, a, a channel thing or something, I will be putting that into the show notes below. Okay, so first off, let's talk fabric. I went to this one store. Oh, yes, I know, I've got, I got it all laid out here. I went to this one store, and they said, if I spent, let's see, let's get some of this stuff out. If I spent $200, I would get a gift, and I kind of like... Yeah, what's the gift? Because $200 Canadian is still a lot of money, right? So, what's the gift? So they said, this beautiful, I bought, I already had this beautiful stack of Lori Holt fabric. And you see, I haven't even taken it out of the stack. I'm just so, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. I've got some beautiful tans and greens and golds and oranges and reds and pinks, purple, blues, and teals. Now, this package here, I'm not sure how old it is or what the name of it is. I think it's called Prairie by Lori Holt. It doesn't have any neutrals, but that's okay. I've got bins and neutrals. I can do some really fun stuff with this. Now, one of the things I love about Lori Holt, she kind of tends to work in the one palette of color, right? So from year to year, you can get, like pick up a bundle of her fabric and it will go with the fabric from last year and the year before and three years before. It's beautiful. It all works together. And Lori Holt also has a YouTube channel which I'll put in the show notes below. Um, this was just really, really a... I, when I saw this, I squealed like a little girl. It was so much fun. I thought, okay, I have to have this. This was... I don't need fabric, but this was... This was calling to me. So, now when you bought this and spent another $20... Now, this was a package. Now, it has Machinger, Machinger uh, quilting gloves in it in the back. Machinger quilting gloves. And it has some quilters, unique quilters based in glue. It has some of that in here, too. So, and then there's a bottle of Mary Ellen's Best Press. And that put me at the 200 in Mary Ellen's Best Press. Now, I'll put all this stuff in the show notes. That, yeah, then then you can kind of figure out what I'm, what I'm going, what I went for. So all of that came to a $20 package, which was kind of nice. So it took me another $200. And this is the gift they gave. They gave me a free, well, it wasn't free because I spent $200. But they gave me a free Lori Holt tote bag. Now, this tote bag is a pretty sturdy little tote bag. It's got a little pocket in the front. And it's got a... It doesn't have a pocket in the middle, but it's got big roomy space to, to make a new go and sew bag. And the go and sew bag I'm using now looks like an oversized purse and it's kind of heavy before it's even got anything into it. So I might change this into my new go and sew bag. These are just a lot of fun. It's quilted with some cheater cloth and it's just, it's just darling. Just absolutely darling. So that was part of it that I got. And it's, you know, it's a Riley Break. Look. Riley Blake so she this is where Lori Holt sews for so this is I thought okay yeah this is just cute it was part of her being her bonnet so the next thing I saw when I was there I'm just gonna put this down 
when I went to another store and they were having a big sale and I think it's a Prairie's Dream Fat Quarter Bundle and I can't, I do not know the person, I see the face but I don't remember. Anyways, this is all Civil War colors. Now these are the blacks, these right here are the blacks, the navies, the deep greens, the aubergine, like that really dark purple that's just, oh, reminds you of eggplant. Anyways, reds, the golds, and I do have some few fun neutrals in there, and they're more of a dainty print and um, more of a, definitely a Civil War feel. And they're just, they're just so cute, I couldn't believe it. So anyways, I got that one because it's on sale, so it might be a couple of, a couple of years old already, and, but I did get the, the stack, so yes, that's the one we wanted. And I have lots and lots of business cards. Hopefully I'll be able to get them all out. Now, one of the other things, there was a lady there as well. <laughs> and her, she's, she shows up to wilt, quilt stores or quilt shows here in Alberta. And she's got a cutest little trailer and that's her store. So she pulls her cute little trailer from quilt show to quilt show. And this is what she does. And this is called the Pea Patch. Now I am going to put the social media links in the show notes for her. But she hand creates her little bundles, her little stacks. And I thought, what bright, beautiful colors. They're all kind of tone on tones, like with the purples and the, the golds and the pinks and the yellows, the teal and reds. And just, they're all, but they're all really cute. They're all, each one of them, I don't think I went, when I picked this up and I thumbed through it very quickly, there wasn't one that I went, ooh, there was, they were all so cute and they were, it's her creation, it's her putting together a bundle and this one will break out nicely into my greens and yellows and blues, like I'll just take this and I'll break it out into my uh, yardage pile because they're all beautiful little fat quarters, but just so cute, so cute. Now... So we did go to Birdie and Dot. Now I have bought stuff from Birdie and Dot before, and every time I go in there, <laughs> every time we go into that that website, I go, okay, add to basket. You know the little website. It goes add to basket. Add to, and next, you know, I've spent three hundred bucks. So I just told uh, the owner Allison of Birdie and Glass or Birdie and Dot that I would give her a lovely plug because she has some lovely fabrics. But I had to go, no, don't buy, don't buy. But yeah, she has some gorgeous stuff that I have bought from her before. Her stuff is top of the line, just perfect, just lovely. Um, and Quilter's Quarters. Now, she's in Edson. Now, April is one of these people that just, she's got a lot of lovely, fun stuff in her in her shop and they they all do have now online presence presence so they're either in a Facebook group or they have a website that you can shop at it's all great um, now okay and I think the last one here was nuts for bolts and there it's Jackie's and she's in Red Deer now she was also a very nice lady to sit and chat with, but we didn't have a lot of time because I was basically doing this on my coffee break and uh, running through her store. But she has some great stuff. And just like these other people, I, I will put all the vendors that I have, I was able to pop in on and see at the show. I'll try and put a list down below. Um, now there's two other things I gotta talk to you about. One of the other things, now I am going to have this lady up here, hopefully Julia, or Julie, will come on to our, our show. Um, they, she is, and her husband work very tirelessly on Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Now Sleep in Heavenly Peace has a Canadian chapter and a US chapter, and Julie and I are going to try and set up a video chat so they uh, make awareness of this wonderful charity. Now what this charity does in both the US and Canada is they make beds for kids that don't have beds. So these kids either they're getting their clientele from you know police reports, social services, somebody's left a, a woman's shelter with her, with her children and they have nothing. You know all of these kinds of things they are so active trying to get you know 
kids with their beds. So they're actually building some very lovely beds and they make bunk beds and all this other stuff too. And they either look time, money, building materials, new twin bedding, new twin mattresses, new pillows, and we, of course, the, the gills, donate quilts. Because these kids now get this quilt and they've had a homemade bed and everything else and they get somebody to make him a quilt, they're just ecstatic. They just are beyond, it's beyond words for them. So hopefully Julie and I will be able to get together here very quickly and put up a video and just chat about Sleep in Heavenly Peace or chat about, you know, the ch like we're sleeping in Heavenly Peace as both US and Canada. So there might be like a European division, I don't know. But if you guys see something like that, Put it in the show notes below if there's an Australian or a New Zealand or, you know, anywhere. Like anywhere in the world where they have a similar thing where they're building beds for children that don't have beds. And the other thing, the last and final thing <laughs> I'm going to show you. I was asked last year to make a block. We were doing a block of the month at our quilt guild. And it was kind of a challenge. So I said, well, I'll go up first. I'll come up with a modern block and hope for the best and of course all the blocks that came after me were just gorgeous it was just like wow so because we had done this block of the month they gave me a little gift they had a coffee mug a bag of cocoa there was band-aids that were just adorable because they had like kind of a quilting sewing theme but we have just finished our Dresden case study you want to see the mug rug they gave me isn't this the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your life? This tiny little, tiny little Dresden's around a great big flower. I'm not sure if it's done with an embroidery machine or if it was done with, I don't want to take it apart to find out how it was done, but this is the cute little stuff you can make with Dresden's, right? So that was part of what the last case study. So this is where our haul video ends. I, uh, oh, I have one more thing. Scrap management, just quick scrap management. What I did with my blue scraps is I went through my crumb bin and because my crumbs are larger, like they're hand size, you know, they can go into that bin, right? So, you know, and they can go into the bin as long as they're, you know, bigger, like bigger than two inch square, maybe sometimes a little smaller, but hand size. Well, I mined them for, I mined the blue crumbs for hexes, right? So I pulled out all the stuff that was big enough to make, a, small enough to make a hexie, and I pulled it out just to thin the herd a little bit, and then pulled out all the other smaller stuff that wasn't big enough to make a hexie, and started sewing it together for crumb, for crumb blocks. I went to Walmart, yes, it's a big box store, and I got some, two of these storage units. Now, they are divided, there's three layers, and there's two layers for each, and they just clip apart, and what a great idea to put, like, your hexes in. Like, I've got my three-quarter inch hexes and my one-inch hexes, all sitting in here nice and neat, all by color, sorted by color, and as I'm pulling them out, if I have six of one color, I'm pulling it out and clipping it together and to make a flower. But all the random hexes are going, staying in here. And at some point I will make a big hexy quilt uh, with EPP. But I thought, yeah, this was, this was kind of like an ideal thing for me to have. I can't clip both of them because I'm not strong. And this thing hasn't been used. <laughs> it hasn't been used very much, so it's kind of tough to get in there. Oh, oh. okay, there we go. So yeah. If you see stuff like this and you think you can use it like to do English paper piecing, that's what a lot of the English paper piecings do, is they put all their crumbs into EPP and then they sit there and they collect them and then all of a sudden they are able to make something. Now I glue the fabric onto the, di the paper disc and then I thread baste, which is a little bit different than what most English paper piecers do, but it works. It works great. So this was my second haul video <laughs> like I said I don't buy a lot of stuff normally but when I do shop I shop so I hope you have an absolutely fabulous week ahead and get busy with your sewing your no nosegay we're gonna try and get to uh, either showing you how to put the crown together or and then the the Y seams or and then right after that we're gonna do sashing and I'm not sure if we're gonna do a friendship store or not but it should be a lot of fun 
coming up. So you guys take care. Have a great week ahead. Look for all the vendors in the show notes below. We'll talk to you later. Bye. My husband and I would love to thank you for coming along with us on our little fun adventure here that we're having. We do have a Facebook group now and that Facebook group is got some very very talented quilters in there and we love sharing and, and you know posting pictures and commenting and it's it's been a lot of fun and the advantage of the Facebook group is sometimes I drop patterns in there early so you kind of get a hint as to what is coming next after the nosegay sew along we're going to be doing curves boot camp right away so we'll get to sewing those curves and it'll be fun it'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of interesting little blocks that we've got to work on but we would like you to share, like, and subscribe. Telling your friends about us and, and letting them know that you kind of like our channel, that, that means so much to us here. So you take care. You have a fabulous week ahead. Okay, bye.